Hello everyone and welcome back to WAW Bandai product and figure review and I wanted to do a quick shout out. I managed to get back to a hundred and forty subscribers so thank you again for, for supporting this channel and with the content that I am producing. It's you guys that are making this all happen and I am ecstatic that I hit the 140 mark. So let's see if we can try to get 10 more subscribers and get to 150 and possibly see if we can get to 200 subscribers. So without further ado, let us take a look at what today's feature for the model. Since last episode, I mentioned that um, I talked about the Gundam Erd. Uh, so let us take a look at the Gundam Lithral Thor that we have here. So this is the Lithral Gundam Thor. So again, this is another one of the enemy units that we see in the Witch from Mercury kit. Um, if I remember right, or at least be able to pronounce her name, the pilot is named Nor as we can see right there so that is the pilot so she is a female pilot from the series that she is called a witch from earth so again witches are um, people that can operate Gundam frames and let's just say it doesn't end well for certain people but overall let's take a look at the box and the box art is phenomenal again uh, it shows the urd here on the side so I love how you could do a back-to-back -back diorama thing with this being your reference so that's actually pretty cool um, so I love the art on here that it's like super dynamic and all that um, we can actually see here we have different posability for this unit as well as a front and back on this side. We also have, like I showed you, we have a pilot synopsis for that. So, without further ado, let's roll opening real quick and let us take a dive into the Gundam Lithral Thor. So this is the top of the box. Again, I still love the artwork that they do with the Witch from Mercury kits. This is phenomenal work from Bandai Namco, which is, I love the labeling that they've done and still keeping their traditional Bandai label here. So let's open this up and take a look at the meat and potatoes of this awesome kit. So again, not too big. All right. Again, nice packaging. They do a really good job with that. Color on the parts aren't looking too bad. Same with this. It doesn't look like there's actually that many parts with this, but it looks like they actually jam-packed them into two nice uh, packaging for this 144 scale model kit. And we have the instruction manual right here. So let's put the model itself aside for right now and take a look at the Gundam Lithral Thor. Every single time I hear Thor, I'm thinking God of Thunder, like Guardians of the Galaxy and Love and Thunder and all those Marvel stuff when I'm hearing this. So um, yeah, this this is like, I'm almost wanting to make this a, a Thor paint scheme almost. Give it a hammer or something like that. Trying to find a big hammer. Um, but yeah, so getting back to the actual instruction manual, you have the a lovely art depiction of it again we have another pilot um, description and what the full uh, pilot looks like I really wish they would give us pilots I mean sure 144 scale would be like tiny 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 little things but 
that would be kind of cool. Uh, I know real greats do that. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, first, let's just uh, take a look at what the number issue for this. And this is number 18 of the series for the number of kits that have come out for the Witch from Mercury series. So that's these are pretty high up. So these are very, very new. And this one also came out in 2023. So this is a very, very new kit. This just came out this year so these are going to be a hot commodity for model kits so let's take a look on the inside of the instruction manual again standard typical Gundam uh, instruction manual for this series where uh, most of all the models are going to be roughly the same kind of layout for how their units are so giving explanations on how to piece the pieces together on um, giving us examples of what to cut, what not to cut, and giving us a part list, which definitely helps us out with organizing and seeing what we have. And it doesn't look like this has that many parts for at least uh, runners. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six runners and a set of decal stickers. Again, we're, if, when we're moving here, assembly, fairly self-explanatory. Head unit, chest unit, arm unit, usually arms and legs are dual. Again, I like how they do the color, but I really wish they would do the color for the entire thing. Uh, instruction manual, not too bad. A lot of nice, a lot of part descriptions. Again, for the arms, uh, leg units, and we get, start getting into the weapons and shields on this one here. And yeah, that's basically where we get like the shield and uh, beam savers. So overall, that is a fairly simple kit. Um, again, it's high grade. Most high grades are fairly, fairly well easy to do. You can definitely do a lot of detail work with this. Uh, as we can see, there's different types of poses that we can actually do and it actually looks fairly well so now let's actually get into the meat and potatoes of this model kit and actually take a look on the inside and take a look at the parts themselves so let's toss that over there uh, and just as an fyi make sure you check all of your parts that you got them out of the bag so Alrighty, let's take a look at the, the parts that we got here. Let's do a little zoom in here for you guys. Alright, so we are, there is three runners in here. So let's just take a look at this runner here. We have runner E, which this looks like it's going to be more towards the shield, the crest for the Gundam. Uh, you could do some trimmings with the, to make them a little bit more pointy. They do give you that option. Uh, they gave you the Gundam mouth, and we got the, the hip and a part of the upper arm. So again, they do a really good job with color coding their parts. So most of everything for here is going to be white or a very smoke gray, uh, white, uh, white ghost smoke gray that you could do to add a little bit more of a texture kind of to it. Uh, so yeah, definitely experiment with your whites to see if you don't want to just pure white You can do a smoky white kind of look. That's something I'm trying to experiment with some of my models So let's just move that over on the side and just move this one over here So again, we have a uh, part for when I'm assuming this is gonna be more for the the backpack and the boosters uh, We have the shield we got its big blaster right here which is in two pieces, but it has really good contact points, so I'm not too worried about assembly, just more worried about the seam line, but if you can glue this just right, you can actually seal in the seam line and you can sand this down and paint it a certain color. And this looks like it's a brown, like a, a gray brown, so you could try to find a color that kind of matches this. I usually do like a dark iron for a lot of this or a panzer gray 
for most, but I think this one will be more for the like the dark iron. It would be closer for this. Uh, we also have its beam sabers here, and we also have hands and two different variations, open and closed. So that's pretty cool. And we have various other uh, pieces on here, such as a jet nozzle. And I'm assuming these are going to be like uh, contact points for like how the shield and a few other things are on the on this unit. Moving on to this one. This is where we have more uh, parts for the um, side armors and shields for here and here. And this is again where we have our grayish um, or translucent black for its um, uh, activation. I keep forgetting what it's called, so my apologies on that. Uh, but it's the, the gun frame activation for this unit um, that makes it a Gundam, which is basically a software program. Love that concept. Uh, it has four top parts for the hands, and then we have the top head for that, which is kind of interesting. And then we have a part for like the crest, and we have the red piece for the chin, and again, the iconic green eyes. Again, this does come with stickers for it, but I would say just paint this with a gun marker if you have them with the green metallic. So that will help give it a nice pop to the eyes. But overall, really nice sturdy plastic. These pieces are on here really good. So you don't need a really uh, sharp pair of nippers. So you, I would still use a very, very sharp pair of nipples. N nippers. My apologies on that. Uh, but yeah. Sharp pair of nippers, and you are good to go for this. So, moving on to this one right here. And this is going to be the last pack that we're going to be looking at. So, let's just toss that over here. So, again, we have um, more beam sabers. So, I'm going to have a plethora of beam sabers by the time I'm done building all these Witch for Mercury kits. I'll probably have a plethora of beam sabers left over. I might try to do uh, some kit bashes with all the remaining ones. So again, they're very flexible, uh, really well done. So yeah, those are the flexible ones. All right, so again, this is another grayish uh, brown. This has a lot of the jet nozzles that you're gonna have and various armor pieces and we have the joints for and we have the feet and parts of the legs for the inner armor and we have the the part for its crest on the chest that basically activates or lights up red when the Gundam is activated it's almost kind of like the gimmick with the Gundam unicorn where it goes into the um, destroyer mode that's basically what's going on with this Gundam. It's it's its activation gimmick, kind of like how Exia also has like the Transam. Uh, so that's basically what it is, essentially, for the, what's going on with these uh, kits when they start to gl have these parts glow red, because uh, it's like a firmware kind of thing. So it's a software that activates within the unit. So it's really pretty cool when you actually watch the series and they explain that. Uh, it's really dark too. Um, yeah, this is really looking pretty good, uh, and yeah, let's take a look at this one, and this is the last one, so again, this looks like a, a brownish, lightish brownish, uh, like maroon, like a brown maroon color, not fully maroon, but it's a, a lighter brown, um, but yeah, it's looking fairly well, the parts are really well detailed, uh, and yeah, this is looking really nice. And this was Runner B, so these are going to be probably more of your main armor pieces. And so yeah, we also have parts, I believe these are going to be for the feet, which actually have, they're not like standard uh, Gundam feet, so that's kind of interesting. But yeah, that's the, the model itself. We do have a sticker set here. Let's 
take a quick zoom in on that. So this is the sticker set that we have. And again, we have the red for the activation, green for the eyes, various for the uh, various green panels for the, the sensor. Um, again, these are all numbered, so when you look through the instruction manual, you'll be able to find where all of these go. So that kind of helps. Again, if you just want to straight build this unit, you could just put all the stickers on here. If you want to do kind of a, a nice job, kind of, but you don't want to do full painting, I would highly recommend getting Gundam markers. Uh, I will probably do a tutorial on Gundam marker usage. So definitely look forward to that. I'm going to be doing a whole series with Gundam Unicorn model kits. So I'm going to be trying different techniques and stuff as I'm building those and I have SD to 148 scale. So those are your stickers that you will have. So those are really nice. They're nice and holographic and so yeah they are looking nice. So yeah this was the Witch from Mercury Thor or Lithrum Thor model kit and this actually looked really nice and I have a big diorama plan out for this unit so definitely look forward to a fun big project with that but overall this looked like a really really nice kit and I can't wait to actually get started and building it um, again these are not that expensive so yeah this is was the review and unboxing of the Gundam Lithro Thor again if you like what you see here please like and subscribe you guys are the ones that are making these videos possible for me to keep producing again if you have any suggestions for any future models you would like to be featured for an unboxing please leave them in the comment sections below and again like i said in the last video let me know what your favorite witch from mercury kit is and um maybe i will i mean i, ha I still have a whole bunch maybe out of the comment sections you, there might be one that hey uh, stood out and i do a unboxing for that one so again Thank you again, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, 